Hi guys! A couple of days ago I was in a Bible study and we were talking about hope. And the question was put to the group, what is something in this world right now that you are hoping for? Well, the first thing that came to my mind is I'm hoping that it will all be okay. There is so much going on in our world, I just want it to all be okay. And somebody else said belonging, hoping for belonging, isn't that a good one? Somebody else said physical well-being or health. We sometimes hope for a good reputation or we hope for financial security. Those are all really good. And that's exactly what we all so often put our hopes in. But the problem is none of those things are guaranteed. I can't be guaranteed that I'm gonna have good physical health even if I'm eating right and exercising like I'm supposed to. I can't be guaranteed that I'm gonna have a good reputation even if I'm trying to do the right things and make the best decisions. There is only one guarantee. And that's what I've got to thinking about over the last couple of days. The one guarantee is the love of God. Romans 8, 38 and 39 says, I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, not height, not depth, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The love of God is our only guarantee. That is our true hope. And then I started thinking about Matthew 22, uh, verses 36 through 40, where Jesus says that the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And this commandment, though, is a gift because the love of God is an, is an incredible gift that gives us hope when we otherwise wouldn't have it. And God says, experience this love. And I imagine him giving us this gift and saying, look, I got something for you. And we're like, ooh, that's really nice, God. And then we get distracted because some, there's something shiny over here. And he says, hey, pay attention, open your gift. It's a commandment, but it's a gift. Our greatest commandment is our greatest gift from God. And then the rest of that verse says that the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. So is it possible you think that that second greatest commandment is also a gift? What does it mean for us that the commandments of God's word are a gift to us to be able to experience the best of this world and the best of him in this world and in the world to come? I hope you guys have a chance to think about that today. This has been my Two Minute Tuesday. Have a great day.